I was in complete rare form when I made this. The concept sketch came about because I put myself in a really, really bad mood. I don't know. It was, it was just like, I don't know. I like spiraled into a bad headspace, we'll say. And from there, it was just a descent into ick. Ick. That's the mood. That was what that was. And that's how this sketch came about, which led to this painting. And this painting, I don't know, even further, I was just very in my head thinking about a plethora of things. To start with, it was just like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm constantly reevaluating myself and, like, the space that I occupy. Not, I don't know. And I'm not a huge fan of that terminology myself, but it's... It's something that I do naturally, and it's just like, my video format, the other content creator people on YouTube, and now I, I try to put art first before everything else, because it's like, I don't know, it's like a very vital part of my existence, but I, I don't know, I, I don't know, it's just everything was irking me. And I've had these thoughts before, but I don't know, they were especially bothersome because, like, I'm not a huge, like, TV media consumer or, like, Netflix consumer, but my sister wanted me to watch the Nina Simone documentary, I think it was, that was on Netflix, and I was just like, I feel like so many people misuse Nina Simone's work in their own narrative and, like, misinterpret it and because it's like I don't think Nina Simone would have liked like her work necessarily being consumed commercially or being made commercial and like the way that they've used it in the background of things and there's that one perfume commercial that they use Janis Joplin crybaby and I don't know if that was just when she was Janis Joplin or if that was Janis Joplin and the what is it the big brother holding company but I don't think Janis Joplin would have liked her music to be used in, like, I don't know, I want to say bougie, but then, like, in, in, like, this upscale French commercial, when I'm like, I don't think that those people really would have fucked with her. People treated Janis Joplin so weird when she was alive. And, like, because I was like, I went through this phase where I was really into binge-watching musical artist interviews, particularly female artists, and I can't remember what, like, old TV show it was, that she went on, but the guy was, I don't know, he was very weird to her, and I've watched other interviews that he had done with people, and, like, I don't know, it was just, like, the era of, like, sleazy and or creepy talk show hosts, and I was, like, I kind of think it was, because that was, like, probably, like, the casting couch era prime, because, like, no, who, like, there was no, there was no media outlet and or way for, like, these women to tell their stories like there is now, and it's just, like, I don't I don't know, and I, there's another person, what is it, I think Basquiat is another one, that he's the only person, and I think it was because of, like, the era that he was alive in, that he was conscious of the space that he occupied, and it translated to his art, and I don't know that I want my art to reflect that, I don't know that I want to be that type of artist, and I don't want to get emotional about it, but it's something that is just, like, very, <sighs> it's very vexing, because it's just, like, I don't... I don't really want my, I don't know, sociological struggle to be at the forefront of my art, but I think it's very much, like, as of, like, my recent hot streak, I think it is coming to the forefront more, and I don't like that. I did like, towards the end of my college adventure, realized that sociology appeals to me, and it speaks to me more from the point of, like, enlightenment and self-awareness of myself in a way that psycho uh, psychology didn't, which is why I was, like, disenchanted with the study of it. Disen disillusioned, maybe, with the study of it and myself, because... In the scheme of things, a person, an individual, is very small. 
And no matter how big that person, like, makes themselves up to be in their head, reality (laughs) is a thing every day you wake up and you exist in a world, and you're not necessarily always happy with your place in it, or just existing in it. And that's something I have to deal with. I don't have much of a choice in it. And going back to, like, the artist that I named... Because I do, I don't know, I like, I've been finding artists that, I don't think the word would be, I don't, I don't think it's that word, and I can't even think of the word, what is it, um, because these people weren't accessible, so the things that influence them is not what is influencing me in this era of, like, social media and, like, just accessibility of everything. So it can't be parasocial relationship. Like, these people that, yeah, okay, that's what the word was. Because I'm like, I don't know if that's what draws me to these artists, is that there is, like, a parasocial thing. Because it's like, they're not interacting with me, but their work is speaking to me in a way. And I feel like there is an aspect of them that is maybe an aspect of me. But I can't put my finger on what it is right now. Maybe tomorrow, the next day, in the future, who knows. But it's just like, these people... I feel like with them, their success really alienated them further from, like, the world or, like, their place in society. I can't put it into words, but it's just, it's like success was almost like the antithesis, the antithesis, and antithesis of everything that they sort of, it's like the opposite, I just, oh, I can't words right now, but I don't know. I kind of think this painting is just an embodiment of, you know, mortal toil. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. And I don't know. I hope this isn't like, I just, ugh, you know, it probably is. Back when I used to talk to people when I was in school, like middle school, and they would just look at me and they were lost a long time ago when I started talking. But they've just like humored me. If you humored me <laughs> to the end of this video, and you maybe get what I'm saying or what I'm going for, comment, consider liking or subscribing. Like and subscribe, comment something if you can. If this didn't make any sense to you, that's fine. If you like this painting, comment something. If you watch the end, you know, thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. My inner torment on display right next to the falafel cart. I like that. And he was not motivated by the base aspects of humanity. He wanted to create his art. And that's he just wanted to make art that no one could see. That was his, his favorite thing to do. Panderer, absolute peddler of muck. Proud peddler.